Hey guys, um, I just watched uh, Amon's Am I Quitting video for the second time, and uh, I was pretty inspired to uh, talk about some more stuff. Uh, once again, a lot of this stuff, uh, I wanted to wait and try to put together, like I wanted to, to build up this whole thing, this whole foundation of videos and, and um, segregated, you know, disciplines or whatever, um, but <laughs> watching Aman uh, do his thing, uh, yeah, once again, I just got inspired, and uh, so we'll see. I wrote down some notes here. I wanted to talk about perception, because a lot of the things that I'm inspired to talk about are, like, they, would like, directly relate to the things that he's talking about, about, uh, um, past philosophers, you know, Aristotle, Plato, Socrates, uh, those guys, and um, I, I just recently bought a lot of books concerning the history of, uh, you know, like Egyptian philosophies and the things that inspired um, Aristotle and Plato, where, where they got their information from, um, and I mean, this goes so much into the Bible and the different religions of the planet in terms of when there used to be... Um, a specific perspective of understanding like education was very spread out a long time ago I mean this is so clear uh, based on the pyramids that the people who had the power uh, knew a lot about um, reality they understood about perception and about our place in the world uh, because the the people the most educated people in terms of overall initiated educated people on the planet um, over time have been those with the highest understanding of perception the highest integrity of their body their physical like every I mean clearly we have a bunch of psychopaths in power now but w once again this just relates to uh, uh, previous times in history uh, and the inter interconnectedness um, of our current paradigm and in terms of how it's breaking up. And, and the reason the Bible touches on this so well is when it talks about the Tower of Babel and the fact that we are ignorant of our own history and of the own relativity of all these different cultures uh, has a lot to do with why we are broken as a, as a people. We, we think just too, we, like, like uh, Amon was saying, everything is relating to the same things. And Jesus is a perfect example of going into the cave and taking people out. And this is why I want to talk about perception, because perception is not just a concept in your brain. Perception is the act of your own form, your eyes doing a certain thing, your ears, your senses, your ability to interpret your reality, your environment. And science now, a major theme is coming out with the understanding that the space defines you, your environment, just in terms of this actual thing that you think is physical space between us, all of the waves, everything is being, is an interference uh, pattern, and this also relates to chaos theory, and so many disciplines are all interweaved in this, and this has to do with real wisdom and real understanding of perception and the way that we can solve problems as well. And going into the cave is symbolic of empathy. It's, it's symbolic of adjusting your form to associate yourself and create a relationship. You're, you're creating an association and then there's a repetition where, which forms resonance. And these are directly related to the laws of the actual universe as well as our um, psychological and conceptual uh, uh, structure. And the reason we are having so much trouble now is that the people who are empowered, the people, okay, think back maybe at least like a hundred years, but much further back, the, the relationship of the families that controlled your resources, because these are the associations that get you fearful, that get you attached to things like government and all of the different cultural things that we have, is your association, the resonance and re of relationship that you form with the things like money that it buys food. So your apathy consists of you not participating in the, the, the things that you depend on for all of your uh, perceptual uh, uh, um, attachments so if it's a sexual perception your your energy is a form of that or or be it drugs or overeating or anything is a form of energy dissipation towards the things that create you 
So when you don't know thing, just basic things like where your food comes from, how you're going to get it, those sort of things, they associate a certain form of energy, a certain part of your form. Um, and the, the whole thing with the political system is it gives the ability, politicians, attorney generals, like these certain positions to create a barrier between your ability to perceive reality. We create all these structures, all this law and stuff, and we create a form of um, what I would take from a book called Time in the Technosphere. I would take the noosphere, the the um, the just psychological associations. Oh, if I don't pay my taxes, I'm gonna go to jail. Like that sort of thing. Um, it there it creates a lot of confusion. You can see that certain positions in society, when they are most um, abundant, you know, it's so, it's it, it's it's very um, telling. And when I listen to politicians, I listen, they create a barrier, b barrier between the actual use of military force fr from government. They spread this propaganda, they use the media, they talk about this th things in a certain way that obscure, obviously, what people who are very highly specialized in uh, tactics of force and the manipulation of information and the use of codes and the use of, of symbolism to... I mean, this is this is so much relative to... The reform in education. We need to talk about our history. We need to talk about things like the fact that they know that people used to exist on Mars and that how re somehow relates to our history of influence in terms of what we are uh, uh, under the result of cosmic forces. Like that to me is the foundation of what we need to be building more so than the talk about politics and econ economics because once you understand reality and your ability to perceive it and the fact that you are a co-creator you're not a filthy rag you're not you're not what you think you are um, in terms of where you actually came from now where you think you might have just come from uh, which relates to the um, man the uh, uh, channeling of DNA is are you more related to what you are in terms of a womb, like where you came from from your parents, or are you relating to a bigger picture, something that even brought your parents, 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 parents all the way back into existence? Like, that is the entire um, sim uh, um, symbolism, I guess if you want to call it, between our association with God and with where we came from and, and all this. And Jesus, once again, represents a channel, it represents a frequency, it represents an association and therefore a resonance with truth and things, but gets obscured by the stories that were manipulated or surrounding that picture. That's what you need to understand about Islam, too, and all of these different religions you think are so different. I mean, it's you you find so much about watching this vi these videos, and the internet is, once again, it's like... The, created a node, another sort of, um, a, 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 I don't know, what you, a refraction point or something um, in terms of our ability to reassociate, reconnect with the cultures all over the world, recap our history and talk about, okay, how can we actually fix the things? Because, I mean, there are real problems that sort of expand to collective in terms of how to adjust to the new... Uh, uh, weather changes by migrating and we also have to change how we structure our food because we have so much waste in terms of creating plastics and things we have to try to f find a way to network um, sustainable practices of like reuse like when we do uh, shipments back and forth for food and stuff I think we have to um, use uh, uh, a certain like uh, like um, man totes or something like that I was trying to find a more technical way of describing it. Sometimes I just get caught up in the... Um, and this is what I was mentioning about cloud computing, because there are just a lot of ideas that, and, of, and advances in technology that we can now network to make sense and, and make things easier and be able to get more things to more people. Uh, community farms. I mean, there's so many plans that are... Per, that They just automatically are the result of 
to me the study of where we came from and those sort of things feeling confidence once again confident in who i am where you know what what our history is that that is the whole thing of relating and then trying to bring people up to understand you're not you're not just what you know like the the culture says or you know i mean it's just ridiculous um and this is the whole if you want to call locking into a to a sort of dimension the whole um, foundation between or behind creating institutions uh, through political will, if you will, a collective understanding of principles and things that we can set sink our teeth into that just end up in the form of contracts and or social contracts and, and monetization and things that we use as a, as a catalyst of exchange, this confidence and currency. I mean, all of this is so relevant. It's just incredible. And that's the, that is the beauty of finding new things all the time to, to sort of put this whole geometric puzzle together. Um, I'm not sure if I'm going to end it uh, shortly. I may be running out of things to say. Uh, let me see. Um, so what, I, uh, what I'm interested in personally very specifically is sort of like the ancient historic uh, trends uh, because I, I just love science I love the advent of space um, and that sort of thing but you know we have to consider waste of course like I would I wouldn't I'm not the I don't try to say okay we need to hurry up and get there so we can blast off into space now but um, I think for future generations, it's definitely going to be, I mean, because think about it, like, there, ha there obviously has to be some sort of ratio of, ha um, you know, life planets and the way that um, DNA can conform to its environment is very interesting in terms of being able to uh, have, you know, it's, it's like... Um, they do uh, experiments in biology where depending on the environment they put the cells in that's how they'll adapt and change so that is very interesting in terms of adaptability to uh, atmospheres and that probably has a lot to do with uh, the history behind how um, uh, different sort of looking beings came into the I mean I don't know it's, I, that's why I got the books because I have to read like a lot of it uh, and, uh, you know, I don't want to obviously talk about things that I have no clue. I don't know what, I'll just be talking about nothing because I don't know what I'm talking about. So with that ado, I probably will end the video here um, until the next time. So.